Well, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm glad you could join me for this edition. Uh, we're continuing our build with the P51B Mustang by Tamiya in 148th scale. In our last video, we got our main fuselage together. So this is construction part three. Uh, fuselage, uh, we'll be cleaning up uh, the seam line between our fuselage halves and polishing that out and putting on our cowling and we'll be working on the wings. So we're going to be picking up here on step three and uh, doing our uh, cowling on the top and also our exhaust and our front scoop. So the first thing we need to do is clean up these sprue gates. There are two sprue gates uh, on this upper cowling that we need to polish out. And so I'm using a really, really fine polishing stick. This is a 3200 grit. You want to make sure that you don't get into any panel lines or fastener detail. So you have to be really careful with it. And so I'm just going to take my time, make sure that I get these polished out nice and smooth. And the next thing to do is check the fit. And I have to say, this to me, a kit is really fit together really well. Uh, I'm really impressed with this one. Now we do have a small scoop uh, right underneath our uh, propeller. And it has one little sprue gate on it. And we're going to polish it out just like we did on the uh, upper cowling. And you just want to make sure that that has been polished away. Don't worry about any little bitty discoloration. Just make sure that it's really nice and smooth. And then we're going to check the fit. Even though this is a Tamiya kit and it's been fitting really well, I still want to <laughs> check and make sure that everything fits just like it's supposed to. So we do have something we need to take care of. We're going to polish out right here where we had the Tamiya Extra Thin. And there we go. So that looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. So the next thing we want to do is take a look at uh, our exhaust. So this is just a basic part. I mean, it looks good. Uh, however, they did not include any uh, holes in the end of the manifold here where the exhaust comes out. So I'm going to take my fine polishing stick and just kind of flatten uh, the seam line out from the molds right on the ends. And with that done, I'm going to come in with a brand new blade in my uh, uh, hobby knife. <laughs> I almost forgot what it was called. Uh, and we're just going to clean up that seam line that's right on the edges there. That will be visible uh, when the model's done. So we just, it's a very slight one, so we just clean that up really easy by scraping it. So next up, I'm going to use that uh, same hobby knife. And we're just going to make a little mark, a little divot right in the center of uh, where the exit hole goes for the exhaust and using that as our guide and you want to make sure that you get that right in the middle uh, we're going to use a really small bit here to drill us a little pilot hole so the first thing I do is put a little divot there to make sure that it's center and if we're in the center and we're good to go, we'll continue on. And we'll just drill this hole out. Now this is a pilot hole, uh, because we're gonna come back in later with a little bit larger bit. So you're gonna wanna make sure that this is in the middle. So take your time, pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> and it's really hard to see because it is a small part, but, but it's really worth the time to uh, uh, just go slow and uh, get these details in. It's going to really add to the look of the aircraft, I think. So uh, we're going to take care of these and just drill these out. 
Okay, there we are with all of our pilot holes drilled. And they mostly look like they're in the middle. <laughs> so, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is select ourselves a uh, small drill bit that will give us the finished size of our hole. Now, if you're really good with these drill bits, maybe you could have started with that size to begin with. Now, what size I'm picking, I don't know. I just <laughs> kind of eyeball it and pick one that I think is going to look the best without breaking through the side of the plastic. And we're just going to come in with that larger bit and we're going to follow that pilot hole. Now that's the reason why you really need to take your time and make sure that you get your pilot hole right in the middle of the part. And we're just going to drill this out. Now it drills really easy because you already have a hole there so you don't need a lot of pressure and we're just going to take care of those. So here you can see we have the one that we drilled out and then the kit part and I think that adds a lot of detail and it should look really good on our aircraft. I'm pleased with that. So now finally I'm going to take care of this seam where our fuselage halves come together and to me has done a really good job here because these parts fit exceptionally well. Especially considering the age of the kit. Uh, this kit did come out in 1995 so um, I am gripping my polishing stick really low um, so that I'm not adding a whole lot of pressure and I'm just taking my time and just polishing out this uh, seam line. So the one area where it doesn't really fit quite as well as everywhere else is right on the bottom here uh, where that belly scoop is. So this seam line we're going to have to take care of uh, with a little bit of uh, Mr. Surfacer 1000. So I'm trying to be careful not to clog up all, all of my panel lines because there's a lot of panel lines on the bottom of this fuselage. And uh, we're just going to add that Mr. Surfacer 1000 there. We'll let that dry. And then we'll come back in and work on that. Now once it's fully dried, I take my polishing stick and we just start polishing out that seam line. So I did use one polishing stick that was a little bit more aggressive than uh, my 3200 to kind of reduce that a little bit faster. And then we come back in with our 3200 here and you can use a 3200 or a 4000 and uh, we want them nice and smooth and now we will have to come in and clean up some panel lines but that's not too difficult to do because we have uh, we can still see where they're supposed to be so that'll be fine and I take a small polishing stick too and clean out this vent so now we want to check some fit uh, we already know that this fits good, however, I want to know if I can install these exhaust manifolds after the uh, aircraft's been painted. So I'm checking to see if I can actually get that in there. And as you can see, it will go in and it'll come back out. And it's not a, it's not a binding fit, so we'll be able to paint our manifolds separately, which is a good thing. So with that, we'll go ahead and glue our uh, top cowling down. A little bit of Tamiya Extra Thin. Being really careful not to fill up the little fastener screws that are molded in. And then we can go ahead and put our front scoop on. Just make sure that you keep your fingers far away from where you're gluing because fine panel lines can channel that Tamiya Extra Thin right down to where you're holding on to the parts and uh, you'll end up with a fingerprint and you don't want that. So next up is step four and we're going to be working on our wings. 
So what I've done here is I, I'm checking the fit to make sure that the upper portion of the wing and the lower portion of the wing fit good, and they do. They fit really tight, which leaves me nice and confident that I can go ahead and polish down the areas uh, where the uh, sprue gates were. So I'm doing this with the just just holding these wing pieces together. Now, if you didn't have a really good fitting wing, you probably wouldn't want to do it that way. Next up, we're going to check our wheel wells, make sure that they fit, and what the position is going to be. And it's just, <laughs> right now at this point, I find out that this little piece is broken on the bottom of our wings, so I'm going to have to bend that and glue that back into place. So that's a little discouraging, but that's okay. Uh, we'll fix that. So once that's fixed and dried, uh, we can go ahead and attach the uh, main portion of our wheel well. And so I'm going to push it all the way forward because that gives us the best uh, seam line transition between the two parts. And a little bit of Tamiya Extra Thin, making sure to keep our fingers way away from our glue joint. Now you don't have to use a tremendous amount of glue, just, just enough to hold the part. And now we're ready to, to check the fit here. And it does fit really tight, which is a good thing. Look at that. That looks so good. So while I'm checking this fit, I also want to make sure that the upper portion of the wings fit well, especially against the fuselage, and that I'm not going to have any problems um, assembling this portion. And they do, they fit good. Because now would be the time to take care of any of that if, uh, if you had a fit issue of some kind. Now with the upper sections of our wings removed, we're going to go ahead and uh, glue the lower portion of our wings to the fuselage. Again, pay close attention to where you keep your fingers. We don't need any ugly glue spots. <laughs> I do manage to get one later, but you know, it can happen. So I've went ahead and put our landing light lens in and to me it calls out for us to paint around this with black flat black so I go ahead and paint that around flat black I'm gonna have to try to figure out uh, how we're gonna cover that up for painting later so now it's time for step five where we're going to uh, be installing the top portions of the wings and also the horizontal stabilizers and just like in our trial run when we did our test fitting, these fit really nice. They go together well. Just make sure you get everything lined up. And it kind of snaps right into place. And you want to keep your fingers away from the glue. I keep saying that, but I, I do end up messing it up <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So we're just going to run the Tamiya Extra Thin right around the edge and we will come in later with our really fine polishing stick and just polish the edge to make sure we got a good finished uh, look. And now for our horizontal stabilizers. Now they, they fit just a little bit loose but they butt up nice and square so we're just going to go ahead and glue those into place making sure that everything's lined up. Uh, the tabs on these do have uh, just a little bit of play in them, so we're going to want to make sure that we are right center. And then we're going to check our alignment and make sure that they're nice and square. Now yeah, they look pretty good. So, on to the next step we go. 
So here we are at step six, and we're gonna be looking at our flaps and our hard point attachments, the belly scoop, and well, here's when I noticed that I actually have a problem. I didn't drill these holes out. Now these holes are where our uh, hard points go for our bombs or drop tanks. Luckily for us, uh, you can actually see, if you look carefully, where those holes are located through the plastic. So I do get those drilled out. Now you're supposed to do that before you put the wings together. And uh, I forgot to do it. But we managed to get that taken care of. And we're able to glue these hard points uh, onto the bottom of the wing. And they do fit okay. Uh, just make sure that you clean up any push pin flash uh, that's on the unseen side of these parts. That way they'll fit nice and flush against the wing. And we can attach our uh, belly scoop here. A little bit of to me extra thin. And make sure that you stay aligned because this, this part will move around kind of in the up and down. So we want to make sure that it's pulled down where there's not any kind of a lip between the joining surfaces there. Now with that done, we can check the fit of our flaps. And they do fit. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, they fit really well, in fact. But we're not going to glue those on right now because we're going to want to paint those separately and also we're going to check this uh, shutter um, and this is for the engine radiator and since our aircraft's going to be sitting on the ground the uh, shutter should be open allowing maximum airflow and so <clears throat> we're not going to glue it because we're going to want to be able to paint inside there so step seven is the assembly of either the bombs or the drop tanks. So I've decided I'm going to put bombs on this aircraft. And there's only three pieces per bomb and they glue up really nice. A uh, little polishing on the edges is still yet to be done, but I'll take care of that. And here we are, step eight. So this is the landing gear and our tires and all these parts need to be painted separately. And also in steps 9 and 10, the propeller blades and all that needs to be painted up separately. And we need to mask off uh, our canopy before we attach that. So we're not going to do any of those at the moment. But there is one more thing that we can do. Which is something that you're going to want to do before you, before you start painting. Um, we're going to take care of our machine guns. So this aircraft has four Browning machine guns and uh, we're going to do this the same way that we did our exhaust manifolds and put a little divot there for the starting our drill bit. Select ourselves a drill bit and we're just going to drill these out. Now this would probably be easier done before you assemble it to the aircraft but in hillbilly fashion, of course. I didn't think about it until now. <laughs> so, so we get those drilled out and they look really good. Now if you have a little bit of uh, fuzzy uh, polystyrene left laying around there, you can dress that up with a little bit of the to me Extra Thin and that'll just melt that away for you. So I will say that uh, this aircraft is fitting together really, really nice. Uh, I really appreciate the attention to detail that uh, Tamiya has given to this uh, model kit. And if you decide to build one like this, or if you've already built one, you probably already know um, how well it uh, fits together. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions um, or comments on the build so far, I'd like to hear from you. Just leave that down in the comments section. And also, a uh, special thanks to all my subscribers. It's because of you guys that uh, I keep uh, putting these little videos out for you. 
and uh, if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of content but you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe it's free it doesn't cost anything and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you'll be notified uh, as soon as I put out a new video and as always guys uh, if you like this particular video do me a favor and hit that like button so you guys stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.